So it's my hope that this What Works gathering can serve as a learning and networking opportunity, a, a place for the airing and sharing of ideas and strategies. So we applaud your work as trailblazers, as pioneers, as opening up new areas. Um, so with that, I just wanted to say how proud we are to be affiliated with all of you, um, how proud we are of your work, your efforts. Participation in a democracy is fundamental, and to the extent there are not equal opportunities for everybody to participate in that system and to participate in self-determination, that is a very significant social problem, and we will be part of the effort. We will play a small role in the type of work that you do to ensure that everybody has an equal say in what we do with the resources in this great country. And then how do we train and ground our work with staff and activists in a model of empowerment, not a model of service? Um, so we really don't want, as GOTV folks, to be going out and doing some service, but really empowering folks to see civic participation and engagement as a way of, um, of interjecting self-determination into their lives and into our communities. Us. In the past, we've done exit polls of Asian American voters. Um, the reason that we did that starting actually in 1988 is because Asian American voters are basically not included in many of the polls that are reported out. Um, either the sample is too small or we're just simply invisible and uh, of course if candidates and elected officials don't know that we vote, they don't listen to what we have to say. And so what we've done in the past, uh, in the past year we did the largest exit poll ever. It was the, um, uh, an 11 state poll in which we contacted 16,665 Asian American voters and we asked them how they voted, uh, what party they were registered in, but also what kinds of voting problems they experienced on election day. We made a real cool, created a buzz around voting, so it became, it's cool to vote. Like, it should be cool to be engaged, and it should be cool to vote, and it should be cool to be involved. Um, so that was a piece that we did, was going to clubs, um, going to different high schools, going to schools, going out, just out on the streets doing canvassing um, and, and targeting, you know, where, where our people were and using people from those, from, from those specific neighborhoods and those areas to do the work because it's a lot more effective, we found, you know, having people from these communities, from the community talking to their peers rather than some, some people that, you know, you don't know are just coming in and coming in, parachuting in and then leaving. So we really work to do that and then create an elastic infrastructure, you know, in these cities. And I think that the progressive side of the equation has to be equally uh, ruthless, if you, if you will. I don't like to use that word, but I think we have to be kind of ruthless in making efforts to not rest, to not say, well, yes, the election is over and we, you know, many of us like the result that uh, happened and so we can rest. We have to make sure that enfranchisement is institutionalized going forward. One thing that we have seen is the view that comes from elites that privatization is a helpful thing, an efficient way of doing government business. And, and when we approach it from that standpoint, somehow the notion that we outsource to private companies isn't really a problem. Uh, we see that as a, as a challenge uh, moving forward, uh, but nevertheless when we talk about public control over the public election process, we think it's critical that uh, there be that kind of accountability uh, which isn't present when you have uh, more and more of this election privatization. After we got uh, Barack Obama's speech from Grant Park on the air, the victory speech, Immediately, we decided to open the lines for our listeners uh, before we went to our news correspondents and, uh, and, and analysts. And we decided to hear first from the listeners what did they think about the moment. And then that third caller um, mentioned something that became more like a theme for future calls. And that was, uh, now the hard work begins. And, uh, and we are the ones who got to step up to the plate, you know, we the citizens.